Well, time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. Pediatricians are warning parents about crib bumpers after an increase in infant deaths. And tonight, Eyewitness News consumer reporter Susan Hogan has the latest updated alert from pediatricians. That's right. Pediatricians are warning parents that they could be putting babies in danger because of their bedding tonight. Call 12 for action reveals more on this latest research that has some pediatricians speaking out. Parents want what's best for their babies. The challenge is that advertisements show cute baby crib bumpers, and you can find them in almost any store. The latest edition of the Journal of Pediatrics adds to the debate, citing a study that looked at infant deaths between 1985 and 2012 and found crib bumpers were linked to at least 77 deaths, and that number of deaths tripled in the last seven years. Pediatricians say babies can suffocate against a bumper or become wedged between a bumper and another object. In 2012, the voluntary standard was changed to make bumpers thinner. Researchers say there have still been deaths since then. Call 12 for Action reached out to the Juvenile Products Manufacturers Association, which represents the crib bedding industry. When we asked them about the study, they said that traditional crib bumpers that meet the bedding standard and are used properly can actually help parents address concerns about babies hurting their heads or getting limbs trapped because there's no bumper. Now, there are no federal regulations restricting the use of crib bumpers, but they have been considered such a problem that Chicago and the state of Maryland ban bumpers from being sold in stores. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer with me, you can call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm consumer reporter Susan Hogan. Eyewitness News.